Hey, how's it going out there, sports fans? Uh, my name is TJ Darren, and uh, I am an NBA 2K addict. Uh, I bought the game in 2K13, and I hadn't really played video games for a few years. I started playing 2K13, and I just fell in love. Uh, I loved my team mode. Uh, my career mode is pretty sweet. Um, and it it's pretty much the only video game that I play. And I, I love basketball, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. But this series is going to be about more a personal story. It's the story of V.D. Lindholm. Uh, five foot seven, white boy uh, from Finland, and uh, basketball's not big in Finland, but he just loved the game in a country where nobody even knew the rules or anything about it. He f he was able to find a league and practice his skills, and uh, and even get a chance to make the NBA after playing in the Euro League. Uh, he'd be one of the shortest players in the NBA, uh, and it's going to be a long shot for him to make it, but this is his story. Uh, Muggsy Bogues, he made it. Nate Robinson, he's not in the league right now, but he had his moments. So he's waiting around to see if he gets drafted, and it's uh, it's not looking great. Um... Well, you all know the story of my career mode. I'm not going to do that. This is about TJ. So now we have to decide what to do next. And in the NBA, it's pretty much known. 10-day contract, uh, D-League. We'll see what happens. Uh, he's pretty angry with his agent. He's chasing him around the couch. It's like... Kind of like, man, you're the player, you, you know, you didn't get drafted. Why are you mad at your agent? But anyway, uh, what's he going to do now? That's the question. Well, it turns out some teams have an interest in him. Uh, the Phoenix Suns, funny enough, 99% interest. And uh, his hometown, or not hometown, but the team he liked growing up, uh, the Detroit Pistons from the early 2000s. Uh, they are not too interested. So uh, he's thinking about the Phoenix Suns. Uh, they don't have a backup point guard. They only have Eric Bledsoe. And plus, out of the teams that are interested, they're probably the biggest playoff contender, maybe besides the Pelicans. So it's a tough decision, but Phoenix looks like the place to go. you got to love that Arizona weather. Uh and so, from here, uh, Phoenix gives him a tryout and a little scrimmage, see what he can do, see what he brings to the table, and uh, from there, it's either release him or uh, give him a 10-day contract. And so, the day of the tryout is finally here, and as you'll see, VD Lindholm, he had an all right he had an all right tryout. Uh, he didn't get a lot of scoring opportunities. He didn't score a basket. But he helped facilitate the offense a bit. Uh, he got a nice assist there on a three. Very solid. Uh, he looked uh, like he had a high basketball IQ. But as you see here, he tried to get to the rim. And if you're 5'7 and a rookie, you're not getting to the rim in the NBA. Anyway, here, attempts a jump shot, misses it. Those are only two shots. Uh, not much happened, but uh, he still got a B minus teammate grade. Looked good, and uh, they signed him to a 10 day contract. So, in the next video, we'll see VD playing in the NBA.